What's he been saying, Paul? Well, this is, as you say, the godfather of AI. That's what he's been dubbed. In 2012, he built what is known as a neural net for Google, and that really paved the way for a lot of the AI products that we use in our daily lives now, but also this much more advanced AI that we've seen over the past couple of years, things like ChatGPT. Now, he said to the New York Times that the advancements that he has seen in AI over the past couple of years pose profound risks to society and humanity. And he's worried that tech companies are now in what is a dangerous race to outdo each other in terms of making the next step forward. And he has two main concerns. He believes there's big risks to, to jobs and that this could wipe out jobs very, very quickly in particular areas like paralegals and so on. And we've heard from the chief executive of IBM over recent times saying that 30% of their back office jobs could be replaced by AI in the next five years. The other major strand is obviously the potential for disinformation, for bad actors to use very advanced AI to create what are very believable fake audio and video. And we may get to the stage, Jeffrey Hinton says, where we aren't able to tell the difference between what is real and what is fake. Last year, Google and OpenAI, which developed ChatGPT, started analyzing huge amounts of data. And that's where one of his biggest concerns are, that we're really moving forward at a pace that doesn't allow these companies and regulators to take account of what the implications are. And this is a growing list of voices, including Elon Musk, who are now looking for a pause so that people can consider what they're doing. All right, Paul, thanks very much for all of that.